Hey YouTube is Don here. I uh, just want to say really quickly, sorry for the background. I do a lot of videos in my bedroom because in the living room I have two birds and they're pretty loud and they like to voice that they're there quite a bit. So it's quiet in my bedroom. So that's why I'm using this classic car calendar and uh, I got dark sheets on my bed. So black guns, dark sheet, kind of hard to see the guns. So anyway, um, back to the point here uh so i went shooting a couple weekends ago not a big fan of the, the falco grips on my gen 3 at the bottom there um they're thick they're gritty um they're actually worse than the factory um grip texturing on the glock gen 3 so i'm probably going to be changing those out going back to talon grips they were just cheap figured i'd tr try them out uh, don't like them uh, but just to get to the point of this video, um, you know, here in the state of Washington, they're coming out with a law uh, to prohibit sale or ownership of magazines that carry more than 10 rounds. And that's across the board for rifle and pistol, um, which I think is pretty ridiculous. Uh, it's pretty sad to see what's going on in Virginia. But what's even more unfortunate is I think a lot of these liberal left states are taking notice and saying oh well if they can get away with that then we should be able to get away with that so let's follow in suit so you know wherever you are stay strong you know really do your homework do your research vote when you can uh, to vote against these bills because they're completely unconstitutional people are not even taking into consideration that nine out of ten times if someone's going to break into your house while you're home, there's probably more than one person breaking into your home. You know, and I'm sorry, but I'm not going to bet my life on a five shot or six shot revolver uh, for multiple threats. I'm just not. Uh, I'm not really a big revolver guy anyway. I think they serve a purpose, but to a multiple threat environment, um, I, I don't see that they're going to do too well. And, and the reason why is not so much that they can't put someone down just as effectively, but the reloads is uh, going to kill you. You know, if you are not trained, you don't have experience in hostile situations, um, you know, you're not law enforcement, you're not a veteran uh, with some combat experience or just a lot of weapons training in general you're not really going to know how to handle a situation like that. So, you know, you may not take that well-aimed first shot that you need to take with a revolver uh, to put that first person down. Because the moment you fire around, you've painted yourself a target. Now they know where you are. And if you don't have the means to really defend yourself in a gunfight, meaning you don't have the round count <clears throat> to stay in the gunfight, because chances are all you're going to be able to grab is that pistol or whatever you got and whatever's in that weapon is what you're going to bring to the fight you want to have as many rounds as you as you can you know uh, especially if you don't have training and that's why i stress training and, and at least getting to a defensive pistol course or defensive rifle course and learning how to fight with these weapons is key um it's going to get you out of damn near every situation or at least give you a fighting chance. Uh, just going to the range and plinking isn't going to do it. So, that being said, I think a lot of these left uh, liberals is, you know, they just think like, oh, you don't need that many rounds. You don't need this. You don't need that. And it's pretty sad that a lot of people allow people to dictate or judge or tell them what they can or can't do based off of, a lack of education and a lack of understanding of a specific weapon or firearm so just something to take into consideration um, don't want to go too far into depth with it but you know do your homework do your research get to a gun uh, a gun class take some training you know and do your best to stay as proficient as you can with the firearms that you do have if all you have is a revolver, well, it'd be awesome at, 
you know, operating that revolver and understanding how to employ it, have speed, speed loaders ready, you know, little things that you can do to set yourself up for success. If you don't like semi-automatic pistols, if that's not your thing, but other than that, you know, stay safe and do what you got to do.